people. I was not the least bit afraid to come in here. I had confidence that the cardiologists here at Emory Healthcare knew what they were doing and I didn't have to worry about it. And apparently it has been per so. <laughs> I'm Ravi Viraswamy. I'm a vascular and endovascular surgeon at the Emory Heart and Vascular Center. My work involves treating problems in the arteries. Arteries are vessels that take blood away from the heart to all the different organs of the body. And these arteries can get blockages and sometimes can get completely blocked up. So it basically involves opening those arteries up so we can get much better blood flow to all those areas. It's important for patients, particularly those in a high-risk category, to be screened for carotid disease. Unlike blockages in the legs or the heart, there may be no telltale symptoms to a high degree blockage in the carotid circulation that may need to be addressed. The high risk groups include diabetics, patients who have high cholesterol, patients who are smokers, or patients who have known vascular disease in other parts of the body. My internist sent me to a cardiologist here, uh, Scott uh, Anderson, and uh, he determined that I had sort of a leaking situation in a valve, heart valve. And then checking out, they found that coronary artery was 60 or 70 percent blocked. And also a carotid artery in my neck was, uh, which would be where it would be, uh, was blocked too. In Paul's case, he came to Emory because of a problem in the valves in his heart. That led, however, to the discovery that he had other problems with blood flow to the heart itself, the coronary arteries, and the carotid artery. The beauty of the Emory Heart and Vascular Center is that Paul had access to an expert in each of these separate problems and that we were able to work together and provide him the best possible care in a cohesive manner. Often, we're able to coordinate our care in such a precise and tight manner that we can do multiple procedures within the same day or within a day or two. This is really beneficial to the patient who can have all their problems addressed in a small time frame. It's not just better for them in terms of their lifestyle, it's also better for them from a medical point of view. In Paul's case, he underwent one stent procedure followed in rapid succession by a second stent procedure. This shortened the time between his arrival at Emory and his treatment for his heart valve problem. The only thing that bothered me a little bit was they said, we are going in one place in your groin and do two stent, different stent operations. And I thought, that sounds a little difficult to me, but apparently they, they knew well what they were doing. So the recovery prospects are excellent for someone like Paul or other patients who have similar problems. Obviously most patients will thankfully have problems not quite that complex and so the recovery will be even faster and easier. Typically patients will go home the next day after most of the interventions that we perform. The, the thing that really amazes me about that with both the stents and the heart operation, I had no pain. There are many surgical interventions and endovascular procedures where it may be okay or reasonable to go to someone who does them on an occasional basis. Multiple researchers have looked at this issue specifically for carotid disease and without a doubt it is in the patient's best interest to go to a specialist who does this procedure regularly and has done hundreds and hundreds of them. My name is Paul Swope and I would uh, definitely recommend that you use Emory Healthcare for any medical or procedure you need to have performed.